Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net, and it is Saturday the 7th of December. Thanks again for watching. Now, you might be planning what to get for Christmas, perhaps for you, or even for a friend. Well, um, what about my WeatherWise DVD? Um, this contains over two hours of uh, videos, each one of them broken down to very small sections, so you can go in and dip in and dip out however you feel. And we cover topics uh, such as the atmosphere, we talk about the seasons, we talk about air masses, we talk about cloud, fog, forecasting thunderstorms, we look at skew T's, at jet streams, and at heat lows as well as many many other things and you can go on the website now if you click on books at the top of weatherweb.net you can order in time for Christmas and I knew you wouldn't mind me promoting that anyway on with the forecast this is the chart for today for Saturday and oh dear the weather's turning boring isn't it high pressure to the south we've got a warm front moving its way eastwards lots of cloud moving in from the west bringing some spots of drizzle to western coasts and hills brighter towards the east and the south Sunday sees much of the same really, got this stronger west southwesterly flow developing on Sunday, bringing some spots of rain and some more persistent rain down western coast of Scotland and for the north and the west of Ireland. But for most places we dry, we've got sunny spells, particularly I think for the Midlands, eastern parts of England and running up through uh, eastern parts of Scotland. Sunday, uh, or even Monday, see it's so boring I even forgot what date it was, uh, Monday uh, sees high pressure centred over Central Europe, we've got uh, more of a southeasterly flow affecting central and eastern parts of England, now that's going to lower temperatures uh, here making it feel cooler, but I think out towards the west where we've got this broad southwest flow we'll have more cloud bits and pieces of drizzle on western coasts, feeling milder there as well and uh, quite a breeze. Monday sees the high pressure still in control. Again, got this southeasterly flow through the Midlands and southeast England. Uh, cooler weather there, probably about 6 degrees, but around 10 across western Scotland and western Ireland, where we get this southwesterly flow, which will bring some low cloud and drizzle to these western coasts. And then on to Wednesday, and high pressure again is in control. So south southeasterly flow for the Midlands for eastern parts of England. Again, chilly here around 6 degrees, but virtually no change. Look for Western Ireland or Western Scotland. Bits and pieces of drizzle around. Temperatures probably up to around a 10 here. But most places away from those western coasts are dry with some sunny spells. And then Thursday, still got high pressure down towards the south. Hints, though, of a broader southwesterly flow starting to develop towards the end of next week, which would bring wetter conditions, but most places still dry through Thursday. Now, it really is a case of the jury being out over what happens after that. There's strong evidence from the models that that southwesterly develops, becomes strong, and brings us some wetter weather as well as milder conditions. But the Canadian model still hangs out on the idea of more southeasterly flow. This is how the CFS sees it. Um, for week one, got high pressure over the top of us, low pressure out here in the Atlantic. Got a trough here, we've got a ridge through the um, through the UK which is bringing the high pressure that we are going to be seeing over the coming days. Now week two from the 14th which is next Saturday onwards um, slips the high pressure off towards the east look the higher the normal heights there low the normal off towards the west and it brings in this south to south easterly flow. Now it does hint at a breakdown coming in from the west with that low moving in but the CFS is far more adamant that that high is going to hang around, far more so than the GFS or the GFS Ensemble and that ties in more with the Canadian model. This is what's causing this confusion because the CFS has performed really really well in recent weeks and it doesn't want to get rid of that high. What it wants to do is to bring us into a cooler south easterly flow. Now that wouldn't be drastically cold, but it would certainly be sort of temperatures of four and five by day. Um, could be we get a bit of an east-west split developing where the west is milder and drier, the east stays under those cool conditions. Something we've got to watch. I don't think this is cut and dried as going into a strong southwesterly just yet. And Looking at week three, which takes us through the Christmas period, yes, higher than normal heights to the east, low than normal off towards the west. We would have the flow coming in something like that. Bit of an interchange in the area of high pressure that we can see here, off towards the uh, south of the Azores. So, bit of a mixed pattern here. And what we'd find is cold air digging in here, uh, around the back end of that high. Now, that presents an interesting uh, thought for Christmas, being cool and dry for many. Not desperately cold, but cool, possibly frosty. And with this large area of higher than normal heights here, look across the Pacific, that's what makes me think the CFS could have got something here. Now, if we look at week four, which takes us through 
the new year. So this is from the 28th of December through to the 3rd of January. Uh, again, look, still got higher than normal heights through the UK, weakly across northern parts of Scandinavia, stronger in the Atlantic. So and, and still got this chain look, still got this high here across the Pacific and again over eastern parts of China. So uh, what we would find here is we'd, we'd have some feature such as that rotating around there. We've got a weak trough here, which is getting split off from the low here. And uh, we'd have a high something like that squeezed through the country. Now, that would bring colder conditions into the new year period. So I think what we've got to summarise from this is that it's, it's just not definite as to how this pattern is going to develop. I really do hope to know more for you over the next few days as we try and firm up on this. But the CFS and the Canadian, I'm, I'm just wondering, have they have they got this one? Um, we'll keep an eye on it for you. As always, though, thanks again for watching. And remember, the sites get free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen. It's when you come back and use the site and use the adverts, that's what keeps us free of charge. So thank you for doing that. And whatever you're doing today, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.